My name is Robert Reynolds and I came to HKS because after graduating from undergrad I, I started reviewing public policy schools and learned that HKS was at the forefront of behavioral insights and it's been my dream to bring behavioral insights into government and into public policy making just like they have done in England and I thought by coming here I could leave and help lead this change in the United States. The Gleitzman Fellowship Program is, is amazing and is the fellowship I'm a part of which is focused on social change. Um, I really identified with this program because of work I was doing with working children in Ecuador prior to coming to the Kennedy School and not only did this program bring me in the Gleitzman Program and support me in my um, developing the skills I need to make changes in the world down in the future, but really provided me with the resources to continue the work I'd already been doing in Ecuador. The Gleitzman program funded me to go back to Ecuador twice last year, first to lead a group of seven Kennedy School students and four graduate school of education students, and then later that year funded me and a classmate to go down there, and my classmate produced a mini film on the day of a day in the life of a working child, which was an incredible experience because I was able to tell stories that I care about in Ecuador to a much larger audience. So many of the problems in our world today are, are due to leadership shortcomings and that it's our responsibility not only to learn well what our expertise is, whether it's behavioral insights or medicine or law, but to study the, the practice of leadership so we can exercise this effectively because that is our responsibility. I was accepted while I was living abroad in South America um, and, and came home for just a couple weeks uh, back to Montana before heading to school. And, and when I got home, I, I had a long conversation with my father one day where I showed him the fellowship booklet of all of my, these incredible people I was about to become friends with. And, and this conversation my dad and I started ended up lasting eight hours. It's, it's the only eight hour conversation I've had in my life and it really culminated with my dad saying that, that these people are gonna change the world. Um, a few months later, it was about six weeks later, I was, I was with these, these world changers at, at our retreat at Cape Cod and got a phone call from my mother that my, my father had had a heart attack and passed away. Um, it was really because of the CPL fellowship that I was able to, to stay at this school and feel a community of support, but mostly just a community of love and family. This group has, has been the group that's really been able to stay with me and recognize that, that my two years here have, have largely been about grieving. Um, about the death of a parent and and for that because I've had this community I'm I'm eternally grateful